Hello, and welcome to my KVEC Learning Innovation Project entitled Do the Math. First, let me begin by thanking all the contributors and donors for this grant to help all of us educators to ensure that our students will receive quality teaching practices in our classroom. Just a little bit about me. I attended Pottville College and Moorhead State University. I majored in elementary ed, middle school education and math, and received my master's degree as a reading writing specialist. I've been an educator for 20 years where I've taught elementary school with the little ones all the way to college level mathematics and English classes. I've had the opportunity to work with special needs students, home hospital students, and students who needed specialized math interventions. I've had the privilege to be a part of the Kentucky Center for Math community by attending trainings and have received certifications through grant fundings, such as becoming a numeracy specialist, an AVMR specialist, a teacher leader, and am certified through the US Math Recovery Council as a math recovery intervention specialist. Last year, I was afforded the opportunity with my district to become a Google certified level one educator. And considering that we're teaching virtually through a pandemic, it has become very useful. Currently, I'm an educator with Jenkins Independent Schools, where I am the director of our Jenkins Middle High School Math Academy. Now let's fast forward to present day. We are all teaching during a pandemic. And as educators, the most important thing to us is our students. And I know every one of us has thought, how, is, how are we as educators going to meet the needs of our students through distance learning during this pandemic? This question is what prompted me for this project. Our principal and our guidance counselor worked tirelessly to create a schedule that would allow students not only to receive their core math courses, but also there would be time scheduled within their day to receive assistance through math lab classes. This is the first year that Jenkins Middle High School is offering the Math Academy. The overall design of the Math Academy is to meet the need of the ever, the overall design for the Math Academy was to meet the ever-growing need of grade level deficits in mathematics prior to our pandemic, but as a result of our pandemic, students are falling further behind in their mathematics skills and concepts because they're not in school. The purpose of a lab was to increase the understanding of mathematic concepts in lab classes. These lab classes are designed to bridge the gap of low performing mathematics students to raise them to where they are on level with their same age peers and in grade level mathematics courses. Lab classes allow students to get individualized differentiated math lessons. Students will receive lessons based on the concepts and skills that they haven't developed so that they can create a mathematical foundation to build upon. Lab classes will allow students to learn with manipulatives and research-based strategies, strategies that have been proven to help students become successful in math. The long-term goal of our Jenkins Middle High School Math Academy is that these math lab classes will continue to meet the needs of our low-performing students who will need math interventions. But at the same time, we hope that as these students' needs are met and grade level deficits decrease, that we can offer advanced mathematic courses to students. For example, our eighth grade students, there may be a student who would like to take core, for instance, there may be a student who would like to take dual credit courses when they become high school students. We would like to be able to give them the opportunity to take algebra in eighth grade so that they can prepare for their future college endeavors and their career choices. Knowing that we were going to be teaching virtually this year led me to ask, how can I meet the needs of these 
struggling students who have grade level deficits in their math concepts and skills through virtual learning during this pandemic. This is the problem that I am addressing through this grant. Students were selected for lab classes based on this set of data criteria. Their map data was looked at, previous state test scores, previous student work samples, and then collaboration with other teachers and their observations of these students and what they will need to become proficient mathematics students. Every educator knows that communication is vital in teaching. The lines of communication need to stay open, not only with students, but also with families. This has proven even more crucial during this pandemic. The lines of communication need to stay open so that students can correspond with teachers when they need help, when they have a question, and even for families, who also may need help in understanding their child's lessons and may have questions themselves. Research-based strategies help in closing those gaps for students who are struggling in mathematics. Research-based strategies are proven to work when they are implemented. Differentiating instruction is a must to meet the needs of our low-performing students. Technological resources of course, since we are teaching virtually, are a need. Students have to have the technology to meet their educational needs and their goals. Dealing with students who need math interventions, one of the most critical concepts that they need to build that foundation is they need math manipulatives. These students are visual and kinesthetic learners. Without those, math becomes even math proves to be even more difficult because their needs and how they learn aren't being met. When my principal approached me about the idea of having our math academy this year, knowing that communication would be a crucial component, I went ahead and created a teacher webpage. On my teacher webpage, it gives information to families and students about upcoming events, important dates. I also have a resource tab that allows students to use resources that they would need in class, but may not have at home so that they can, so they can understand their lessons and their assignments. One portion of the grant I've requested is Rocketbook materials to use with the Rocketbook app. The Rocketbook app actually has two functions. One, it serves as an interactive whiteboard for students and teachers. This is the Rocketbook paper that's designed to be used with the Rocketbook app. As you can see at the bottom, there is a specially designed QR code. What students are able to do is take the Rocketbook app paper and put it in a protective sheet. Students can put the specially designed Rocketbook app paper in a protective sleeve and then they can solve their problems and equations and their functions, whatever their assignments is, by using a dry erase marker. When they're finished, they're able to upload their work using the Rocketbook app, which can be downloaded on Android or iOS supported devices. This QR code lets their work be sent to a folder designed for them. So not only, is it as an, not only does it act as an interactive whiteboard during math lab classes virtually, once they've completed their assignments, they can send their work to their folder. This allows them to go back at any time if they need to find an assignment, but it also allows me to see their work and to hone in on the critical points that they need their instruction designed for. The Rocketbook app materials serve as an interactive whiteboard. That way items can be color coded during instruction. Another item that I had requested funding for was a drawing tablet. Again, students being visual learners and learning mathematic concepts abstractly 
have to have some way of visualizing what is being asked of them. Using a drawing tablet allows me to instruct my students and color code the portions of the assignment and highlight important key details and vocabulary terms for my students to comprehend. Again, this allows them to create that mathematical foundation to help decrease the grade level deficits that our struggling math students encounter. Other student materials that I've requested and that will be used for these students are place value blocks, fraction tiles, fraction rods. These type of manipulatives allow students to visualize decimals and percentages and proportions and ratios. Again, things that are sometimes not seen and are critical to help them form that foundation to continue in high level mathematics courses. Other items that have been requested are algebraic tiles and geometric manipulatives. Again, those abstract concepts need to be visualized. This will help students understand and visualize equations and expressions and functions. After questioning and looking at data and reading articles to try to pinpoint solutions to help our struggling students, as school has begun, another problem that we have encountered with our math academy is that we have students that do not have devices and are without internet connection. To further meet the needs of our students, students who do not have a device were provided a school assigned Chromebook that they can use at home. Also, for students who do not have internet, they are given a jump drive with their individualized lessons and videos uploaded to this jump drive so that they can work at home without internet. Once the jump drive is completed, then students contact the school. We will deliver the next jump drive with their lessons and videos and then collect the previous jump drive that was delivered to them. This will allow students to stay connected to their learning without falling behind. Another option that we've given to students is that they are able to come into the building by making an appointment and they can come into the math lab to work and get assistance in what they need. This option is open to students with or without internet. The key component here is though, because we are in a pandemic, they do need to make an appointment. This allows for social distancing and it also helps us keep track of contact tracing. Here's my contact information. If you have any further questions that you would like me to address with you, you can reach me by my email at tammy.estep at jenkins.kyschools. You can also reach me at my office number, 606-832-2184, or you can visit my website at the link provided at the bottom. Again, a huge thank you from educators to ARI, KVEC, and all the grant donors. Well, it's that time. My presentation has come to an end. It's time for me to get back to my students and go do some math. Have a great day.